Hi, this is your host Apil Bhartia and welcome to another episode of Tier 4 Let's Talk. And today we have with us once again, Nabil Suli, CEO of Ubiqube. Nabil, it's great to have you on the show. Thank you very much, Swapnil. Nice to meet you again. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Uh, you folks recently announced a solution which is aimed at telcos who want to support their enterprise customers deploying applications at the edge. We have been talking about edge a lot. Uh, I mean, first of all, uh, what is edge can be a topic in it, its own. But uh, I, what I want to hear from you is that uh, when we look at these uh, enterprises deploying their cloud edge infrastructure, what are some of the challenges that you see they run into? Yeah, how easy, how difficult it actually is? It's definitely not easy. Let me start with that. And uh, that's one of the things we're trying to solve, uh, one of the issues we're trying to solve with, with our solution. So, uh, you know, as you said, the edge is a very important topic right now. It probably means different things to different people. Um, but it, it is an opportunity for enterprise to have their application run closer to where they are. Um, to have it, uh, you know, e easier to deploy and, and more cost effective. Um, so it is, uh, you know, emerging as a very, very serious contender to the ultra centralized uh, cloud approach we've known for the past decade. Um, so back to your question, I mean, the challenges they would face, and, and I'm saying they would face because at, at, at this point in time, we, you know, it would be unfair to state that, uh, you know, uh, Edge is, is massively used as a solution, as a cloud solution right now by enterprise. I think we're at the beginning of this opportunity, beginning of this market. Uh, but, you, you know, one of the things folks are worried about or concerned with is the rising complexity that they will uh, incur if they start to consider the Edge as an option for their application to be running um, and, and, and that's what we think is the most important item to, to, to go to, to look into. I mean, how complex is it going to be for folks to have their application running both uh, in a central location for some of them and, and others or modules of that very application basically operated from the edge of the network or the edge of the cloud? Is that going to be uh, a no-brainer? Is it going to be easy? Is it going to be streamlined? Probably it would if it is provided by a single provider. Uh, but considering that we are also transitioning to a, more of a hybrid cloud culture, most probably you would have several suppliers and that will, that will mean more complexity on the horizon. Can you also talk about uh, what you are seeing is kind of driving this, this growth of edge data centers in today's world? Well, uh, you know, from, from my perspective, uh, the initial driver was to, um, you know, have some of the untapped market segments buy into a cloud as an option. Um, you know, if, if I think of the Fortune 5000 companies and those having very sensitive applications that are probably latency sensitive that need to be operated within the boundaries of, say, a, a country, for instance, for, for compliance reasons, um, this is a, you know, an untapped opportunity by the very centralized cloud approach uh, that we've had. So I think that is, from the perspective of a cloud provider, why we probably are seeing this move. Obviously, getting closer to the edge will uh, help them be compliant, will help them provide faster access to storage and compute. Now, from an enterprise point of view, I think the drivers remain the same. I mean, ultimately, one will consider to offload some of his application assets uh, onto a cloud provider facility if it is cheaper, if it is more efficient, if it means that they don't need to deal with that, which is not core business for them, and this is, uh, you know, outsourced. The reasons remain the same from an enterprise point of view. I think what's holding enterprise back particularly those, the sophisticated ones, that you know, again, the Fortune 5000 type, is, is whether or not by, by going cloud, they, they are taking any risks. If they are, then they, they won't do it. And, you know, if they haven't done it so far, for most of them, it's because they don't feel, they don't feel safe. Since, you know, as most of these enterprise, you know, customers are deploying their uh, edge infrastructure, uh, you talked about the challenges. We also talked about what is uh, kind of driving this this growth. Um, talk a bit about 
what role is UBQ playing in helping them, you know, with all these deployments? Uh, and also how busy, how big this market is, what role you are playing in this market? Right. So let me start with the solution um, that we're bringing to market. I think the uh, the interesting approach we, we are taking here is that we we are looking at the uh, at the problem from both sides of the fence. The, the, you know, as I said, I, I described the opportunity from a cloud provider point of view or a telecom service provider point of view. But I also tried to explain what rationale got enterprise to deploy their applications on the cloud. So, uh, you know, similarly, what we decided to do here is to build a solution that right off the bat would, would be relevant to both parties. So let me explain further. Um, if I'm building, if I'm on the you know provider side of things, and I'm building a, you know a cloud at the edge, um, that cloud at the edge, that architecture will vary over time. Um, you know, components will change, suppliers and vendors will change, and and so on and so forth. And I'm going to have to deal with that. The problem is that contrary to a very centralized approach, where I have one big data center or a couple of big data centers. And, and if there's an overhaul to be had, and I do it once and I'm done for years. Here, as you get to the edge, you're multiplied by, by the thousands, the number of touch points. And if there's a change in architecture, the impact is pretty dramatic. Uh, you don't want to have truck rolls or anything equivalent to that happening at the edge of your network. So, you know, the way we've approached this is we, we, we basically decided to provide these folks with a, a platform, a middleware that would help them stitch together uh, as they see fit over time, any of the parts of the vendors or the technologies they see would be relevant or more cost effective or whatever uh, for their cloud edge architecture. That's, that's the first component of our, of our solution. And it lies into a product that we've launched several years back called MS Activator, which is an automation engine but through that very abstracted automation approach, it simplifies the dealing with that churny nature of, of cloud architectures. That's one thing. Now, this being said, I've addressed the, the anxiety of the service provider, the cloud provider who goes like, okay, I wanna have something that is gonna be future-proof for the next three years, but remains the, 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 the one on the other side of the fence, the enterprise, and whether or not they're gonna buy into this edge offering, whether or not they're really going to deploy their application on the, uh, on the cloud provided by, by that service provider. And for that to happen, we believe that you have to make it as seamless as possible for the folks really deploying applications. Now, the folks deploying applications sitting inside IT departments of those Fortune 5000 enterprise, they have gazillions of tools that they're already using to build applications, okay? The DevOps industry is, is, is loaded with these. And if they are to consume another cloud option, and let's call it the edge cloud, it, it, it's going to have to be painless. It's going to have to be seamless. It's going to have to feel natural for them. Now, if one big telco comes in and focuses, and I'm not going to name names, but we're seeing this uh, left and right, they focus on designing the, you know, the, the the best box ever that sits at the edge of the network, uh, you know, that is that is 5G powered and that has everything integrated in it, storage, compute, whatnot. But the interface of it, you know, what's handed over to the enterprise to for them to go and deploy their application is so specific to that service provider, so different from what these guys have been accustomed to. Then my my firm belief that that this is recipe for failure. So what we designed is we designed a second product, which we called CloudClap, which we discussed in a previous conversation, you and I. And CloudClap really focuses on helping folks on the enterprise side of things to deploy on any infrastructure, any sort of cloud. And that includes the edge of the cloud or the cloud edge. So now by combining CloudClap tightly with MS Activator, here's what I've, I've created. I've created an interface for the end user to seamlessly deploy his applications on any cloud, including the edge cloud. And I've provided the uh, provider himself with a way for him to remain future-proof and evolve his architecture over time to stick with the, uh, the, the price erosion or the cost erosion of the vendor curve and, and be the most efficient possible uh, at any point in time. That's why we're calling it a solution. But the uniqueness of it all is that uh, it, it, it basically caters to both sides, the supplier and the buyer. Can you talk about you know when they do uh, you know 
make these deployments and rely on hybrid multi-cloud. Uh, what are the, some of the things that they should look at, you know, for, uh, first of all, reliable, uh, reliability, cost efficiency, security can be a big challenge as well at the edge. We are also seeing a lot of layoff, which also means teams are getting smaller, uh, cost cutting is also happening. So, so how should they look at these things? This is a very complex question, and I'm going to, I'm going to address it with a very simple answer. I think I think the obsession on the enterprise side of things should be, are you being provided with a tool that will help you deal with change? If you feel that what you're being provided with is something that is very static and that you're going to be locked with it for, for the next three years, five years, run away. Because fundamentally, every one of the areas you mentioned that is you know, all of them are vital for these companies, cost, security, compliance. Well, all of them have extraordinary, uh, uh, you know, variability attached to them. I mean, cost changes, uh, you know, complying, compliance rules change over time. Uh, security is, is an everyday task uh, with, with uh, you know, parameter changing every day. So Fundamentally, if, if I'm the IT head inside an enterprise, what I want to be provided with are basically two things. First, a, a real ability to handle change, to handle variations of all of these components. Second, I want that easy because I am not an expert. I don't want to become an expert, but I want you to make sure I want to make sure that you're giving me a way for me to manage the life cycle of all of these very important elements that make the cloud or infrastructure solution you're providing me with. If you're giving me a solution day zero that is just very, very price effective, cost effective, uh, that looks nice and great, but nothing can be changed in it, I know I'm going to be obsolete in six months. And that is not what I want. So change management is crucial, easy crucial. Uh, depending on whether you can share the names or not, can you share a story of you know, success for customers where you can give some examples where they leverage uh, your you know, integrated solutions that you earlier talked about? Forgive me, I'm not going to name names, but I'm, I, I, I have an interesting uh, use case that I'd love to share with you guys to illustrate how the solution uh, uh, plays in, 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 in this case, in a, in a telco context. Um, Funny enough, instead of illustrating the use of the solution with, as I described earlier, a supplier being the telco or the cloud provider and an enterprise being the user, I'm going to illustrate the user of the very same solution, but this time you have the telco uh, being on the side of the customers and the suppliers is a community of vendors. Let me explain. We have recently um, built with our MS Activator product, which is the automation engine. Um, a data center for uh, a very large telco, uh, which is, for those who are familiar with that acronym, uh, Mano Compliant. Um, so this is, this is a data center that will basically host all of the virtualized uh, networking functions for this telecom operator. Uh, you know, again, you know, network functions used to be hosted within devices, deployed in the field. Now they're going to be centralized. Great. So all of these functions are software functions hosted centrally in that Mano data center. So we've basically uh, helped them build that data center uh, with MS Activator. And now the next phase of what we're planning on doing is actually the following. In fact, a data center that is a, a telco data center that is hosting all those virtualized functions coming from different vendors. Okay, you, you have a number of vendors that are supplying that telco with, with network functions. Um, the question is, how, how do you make sure that these vendors keep their software or their VNFs, uh, for instance, or their CNFs of their container base um, up to date along the life cycle of your infrastructure all the time? For that to happen, you have to give them uh, access. They have to have ways to go and update their software, uh, probably upgrade them, uh, fix bugs, and so on and so forth. Now, if you have one supplier, it's easy. If you have 10, 20, uh, from different countries in the world, from hitting different segments of your infrastructure, it's, it's a lot more complicated, but all of them have their technology hosted in that very same data center. So here's the, the, the model in reverse. Now, the same solution 
We're going to use CloudClap, hand it over to these vendors for them to use CloudClap at every point where they'd like to deploy or upgrade their installed uh, function, they would use CloudClap to go and install that. CloudClap would be pre-configured by the telco itself. So it is already, uh, you know, for those vendors, an environment that is approved by the telco over which they're deploying. So the telco keeps control over what's deployed. The vendors have the freedom to go and update over time their technology. Uh, you know, both sides wins. The telco gets the latest and greatest all the time. Uh, the vendors get to basically deploy their innovation as quickly as possible and remain, um, you know, at the at the on the cutting edge of innovation. So that's that's a, an illustrative scenario where the combined solution MS Activator and CloudClap is used um, for a very particular supply management or continuous uh, supply chain management uh, scenario that I'm illustrating here. But it's it's pretty illustrative, I, I believe. Abil, thank you so much for taking time out today and uh, talk about, uh, of course, helping tel telcos deploy Edge. Uh, thanks for all those insights. And as usual, I would love to have you back on the show. Thank you. So, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much.